What's up guys? Welcome to this video. We are like nice and sweaty. We just went to the gym. So this week is actually our four year wedding anniversary. Four years. And so we're kind of taking this weekend to celebrate. I thought you were trying to get in the frame again. No, I don't want to be in the frame. You um, don't want to see me. We're kind of taking this weekend to celebrate. And we're just kind of going with the flow, seeing what we get into. But we just stopped at this place here in St. Marcus. It's called the Candy Raptor. It's like rapper, raptor, like a velociraptor. I don't know how to make that noise that people do. Yeah. We can go inside now. <laughs> Let's just go inside now. <laughs> You look handsome. I found an old shirt. <laughs> you look good. Buzz, you look good too. You look better than all of us. You look good. Here's your backpack, your water. Hey, right, we'll be back, Buzz Buzz. We love you. Brady says hello. Bye. Bye, kitty. Funny story. So this morning I heard the cat meowing outside of our trailer, and I thought she wanted in to get like a quick snack before before she got fed by uh, Matt's parents. So I open the door and she doesn't want in but she's looking at something on the ground. What are you doing kitty? Just come inside. And she kept meowing but it was like a guttural like like weird meow. So she was looking at something on the ground and I looked down and she had she was like kind of licking and pawing at something on the ground. She was licking a frog so I'm pretty sure Burgundy got high this morning. So <laughs> So I, I brought her inside so the frog could get away and then she stopped being weird. I don't know. Weird little kitty. So this is our day two of our anniversary celebration. We're heading to Austin. We're gonna get lunch. I think we're gonna go to the rock gym. I'm gonna climb a little bit and then we're gonna go see a movie at Alamo Draft House. That's so cool. I thought for today's video, we could answer a few questions that we've been getting that have come through on videos that I found were interesting. So one of these. You have two packages over there. Do I? Packages? Hey! I got some more BCAAs. Then I got a Scoopy. Put this little guy, put like protein or pre-workout in it and then you close this and then you put it into a water bottle and it doesn't go everywhere so you don't have to make paper funnels anymore. I got another shaker. One of the questions. What are you two gonna do about RV life when your family grows? That's a great question. And then take the reins on that one? Sure, it's easy. Bigger RV. <laughs> I think that's the the plan. If anything were to happen and we had another Wyatt in our life, yeah, we would just upgrade to a bigger RV. That's it? Yeah, well also, I don't know how long ago that, or how long that would be if something like that happened, but the plan is that I do wanna end up purchasing land and doing that whole thing eventually growing on that so but yeah a bigger RV is the simple answer this one says I was wondering if now that you've been living in an RV a while do you find yourselves occasionally missing stuff at all clothes furniture decorations etc so I honestly don't miss any of the stuff that we used to have and once I read this question I tried to think about okay are there certain things that I miss now about having a bigger home or about the things that we used to have. And I really don't because we use everything that we have now. In fact, we, I still have things that I haven't used since we've been in the RV, like clothes or certain um, pots and pans. 
hands or utensils, shoes. If anything, it's kind of the opposite. I'm still seeing things that I don't need that I should probably get rid of, but I have that thought in my head. Well, what if I do need to wear these shoes at some point? Or what if I do want to use this at some point? The Okay, and the only thing that I'm thinking of, and this is thinking ahead, is at Christmas time, I really like to decorate, and I really love, I love, I love Christmas. I'm a little obsessed. The only thing is having less space, decorating, and having a Christmas tree. That's my concern. So, we'll see. You. Me? Yes. Bathtub. Just a bathtub. Yeah. I don't know. I like, uh, I've always liked water. And so, it's like, I've always liked hot tubs, pools, you know, lakes. So I can have all of that, but the one thing I can't have is a bathtub. It is a nice little thing to come home and be able to be like, you know what, today is a bath day. Which was almost like, I think, we had a nice bath, like a jacuzzi tub at the last house. With, with my anxiety, baths actually help. Um, if, if I'm like on the verge of a panic attack or if I'm having a panic attack, I found, we found that having a bath helps and I guess it kind of just calms me down and, and makes me focus on just one thing and just being in that moment. But luckily my anxiety hasn't been an issue since we've been in the RV. So yeah, but I, I can see what you mean. It's not really something that I'm like, man, I really want to take a bath. It's not something I would do every night you know, yeah. or even once a month. But just having that option every I think is, is nice. But if that's the case, I guess we could just go to a hotel. That's what I'm saying, yeah. It's like I guess. If we really, really want a bathtub that bad, we can find a nice hotel and go there for the night. Right? Possibly, depending on how much they clean it, how much you trust all that. Whatever. Yeah, right, whatever. So coming back to the whole kid thing, by the question of our family expanding, because we're not getting any other dogs and we're not bringing any cats into the RV. I know somebody that they had a, a baby and so she had a newborn and they had a fifth wheel I think it might have been a travel trailer but they upgraded to a fifth wheel they had a newborn and they were traveling in an RV and it actually looked like an amazing adventure like what were to happen if I were to get pregnant in the next year well we would uh, make it work yeah, we can make room in the current RV I guess yeah. Say we had an, an RV that was the size that we have right now, we would just have to adjust as if, you know, in living in a home or in an apartment, we would have to adjust. We're not looking to get back into an apartment or a home anytime soon. We would just make it work. You know, the, yeah. the dining area would then, I guess, be the nursery. <laughs> and then as far as the dogs go, that's another thing that we would just make work. We just, I think we'd spend a lot more time outside whether we're at our home base or not because being in an RV with a baby and two dogs is not going to be optimal. So, but then I don't know anything about kids, so. You worked at a daycare. Yes, I worked at a preschool and a That's daycare. Right. Okay, I do, I do know kids. <laughs> I know kids and I've changed a lot of diapers. So it's definitely something I could handle but we would just have to modify our current situation a lot. Yep, just like we did moving into this situation. Yes, we make it work. Kids, I don't know. <laughs> All right guys, so it is now Monday and we're gonna close out this video by telling you guys what we're doing on Wednesday, which would be today. When you guys are watching this video, I know it's kind of late notice, but if you happen to be able to make sure to look up the RV show USA, on Facebook. I'm gonna be sharing a link on my own Facebook, but we're gonna be doing a short interview for their um, radio show. Somebody reached out to us, they had seen our videos here, found out that we moved into an RV, and wanted to interview us for their radio show. So it's pretty cool that they reached out to us. So we're really excited, I'm really excited. I don't know about him, he's just... Huh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. You know, it's like one of those things <laughs> yeah, like, uh -huh, sure. what, what? What, what, thing, <laughs> what wrong thing am I going to say on the show? Yeah, pretty much. But, oh well. I'm kind of just going to wing it because I feel like that's how I do best. So we will see how it goes. And if it goes well, he said that they, they might have us back on. So if they don't reach out to us afterwards, then we know that we're just terrible yeah. at interviews. I'm just going to wing it because it's probably going to be funny. Who knows what's going to happen. So, uh... <laughs> yeah! So link, maybe link tune in. Yeah, know. but they also post all of their stuff on their website afterwards. So even if you miss it, 
you can go onto their website and come see how we did. Yeah, you can come see how we did. But if you do tune in live, um, you can either call in or you can post on their Facebook live stream as they do the interview. You can post questions below. So if you guys do want to ask questions while we're on the air, you can make sure and go onto their Facebook page and leave those in there. So pretty exciting little thing, I think. <laughs> I think. I've never done anything like this before, so we will see how it goes. Well, I mean, if you're excited, then yeah, it's an exciting little thing. It is an exciting little thing. I'm nervous. Lots of stuff happening this month. Sue, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this random video. Yeah, that's it. Sweet. If you do have any other questions that you want us to include in future videos, Q&A or whatever, make sure and leave them down below. I'm always happy to chat with you guys. So again, we try and be as honest as possible about this journey, so yeah. There's a guy with a saddlebag, a driver, like a golf, golf club, and then just a bunch of other stuff just stacked on top of a, a bike, his bicycle. Oh, was that who was going down the road? Yeah, and he's going like five miles an hour and there's a truck behind him, I'm sure they're pretty angry. <laughs> but it's just like, you're behind this guy and he has all this stuff and then a driver. Is he gonna rob somebody? Is he I gonna know what he's gonna do. Just I mean, gonna go play nine hole? Yeah. You never know when you need your driver to go play golf. Yeah, that was interesting. Let's hope that that's what that's for. All right, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and we will see you guys on, we'll hear you guys on the radio show because we won't see you, but we'll- Witness day. You'll hear us. We'll see you Friday too. Okay. Have fun out there. Bye. <laughs>